Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Monday, December 6, 2021. I'm Donis Wilkinson Keynes. Premier and Minister of Finance, the Honorable Mark Brantley, will present the Nevis Island Administration's 2022 budget at a sitting of the Nevis Island Assembly on Tuesday, December 7, 2021. According to the order paper dated November 29, 2021, the Minister of Finance will lay on the table the draft estimates 2022. Premier Brantley will also seek leave to introduce and have for the first time the Nevis Appropriation 2022 Ordinance 2021 and will later move to have the second and the third readings of the ordinance. The 2022 budget presentation will be broadcast live from 10 a.m. on Nevis Television NTV Channel 99, NevisTVOnline.com, NTV Go App, Nevis Television Facebook page and Nevis Newscast YouTube channel. Sensitizing teens and young adults to the scourge of gender-based violence was the aim of an event hosted by the Department of Gender Affairs on Sunday, December 5th. Dubbed the Write Your Own Script, the activity formed a part of the observance of 16 days of activism against gender-based violence. We want to have an early intervention for our young people and to ask them to write their own scripts before they get into abusive relationships. Junior Minister of Gender Affairs, the Honorable Hazel Brandy Williams, made the opening remarks. Youngsters, I know that you have big dreams and we are here to assist you to make those dreams reality. The Ministry of Health and Gender Affairs, we are in tune with what's happening and so we are asking in any event that you find yourself in a situation where you have to compromise your well-being, reach out to someone, have a discussion with someone. And I say, the Ministry of Health and Gender Affairs, we present ourselves to be your advocates. The program, chaired by Mario Philip and Pam Martin, featured, among other items, a moment of silence in memory of the persons who lost their lives to gender-based violence, as well as a musical minute for survivors and conquerors of gender-based violence. I was inside getting beaten up and hurt emotionally, physically, and the most I could have done was try to fix it. And I was busy trying to make him happy, and I lost myself. I stopped singing, I stopped dancing, I stopped wearing makeup, because he didn't like it. He didn't like it, so I stopped. Because I'm still inside there trying to fix it. You can't fix it. You can't fix them. What saved me was gender affairs. So I'm glad, and that's why I'm here. If it happens, report it. Don't stay. As much as you love them, don't stay. You can't fix it. You can't fix them. Nobody gonna hit me, and you didn't. Instead, you told me that my friends were bad, and I had to defend every rumor you heard about me. Nobody gonna hit me, and you didn't, and you didn't have to. Nobody gonna hit me, and you didn't. But you told me nobody's nobody gonna want me. And I believed. Look how I look now. And you are right. I'm crazy. Lol. <laughs> nobody gonna hit me. But finally, I went to therapy after all those years. My body was shaking with fear. The therapist let me let it out, and we discovered how bad you emotionally drained and abused me. It's the first step, but I'm leaving. Even, even though you didn't hit me. Or maybe you did, because the abuse hurt me. 
The guest speaker was a psychologist Macmillan Coffey of the Mental Health Unit who addressed the impact of mental health on gender-based violence. Latoya Jeffers, Assistant Secretary in the Ministry of Health and Gender Affairs, gave the vote of thanks. Too long we have sat by and watched these things happen to our friends, to our parents, to our neighbors, and we've said nothing. So we are here tonight to start to break that silence. We have to speak out against gender-based violence. And I want you to understand, young men, young women, that you decide what you etch on those pages. You have one chance to write your book. You are the authors of your book, your story, and you write it the way you want it to turn out. So tonight, I say to all of you, write your own script. 16 days of activism against the gender-based violence runs from November 25th, International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women, to December 10th, Human Rights Day. In its continued efforts to enhance the tourism product on Nevis, the Ministry of Tourism will host a Christmas night market this weekend. As noted by Premier and Minister of Tourism, the Honorable Mark Brantley, it will be the second such event to be put on by the Ministry. Nevis introduced this concept of night market and it has been going well thus far. The Ministry of Tourism will host that night market at the Artisan Village on Saturday the 11th December from 6 p.m. A wide variety of local arts and crafts and other made-in-Nevis items will be on sale and a well-stocked bar and food court will cater to the many patrons expected. There will also be a domino competition at the night market as well as some live entertainment. We crave the overwhelming support of the general public. We did the last one in April and it was very, very popular. For further information on how to register to participate in the Christmas night market, contact the Ministry of Tourism at 469-0051. Still to come. I am very proud to say that this is the 17th year. 17 years. We'll give you the details after this break. Yeah, some sunshine from Sunshine Bomb Grill. I'm so happy and so proud of myself that I went and get the vaccine and I'm feeling fine and I encourage all New Vigians, all Kilishan to get it because if we're going to open the border, we need to protect ourselves. Please, I encourage one and all to go out and get their vaccine. It's the right thing to do. It's the safest thing to do. One love. For more information or to get vaccinated, visit your nearest health center. This message was brought to you by the Department of Public Health, Nevis. Welcome back. Senior citizens from the Hanley's Road community were on Friday, December 3rd, treated to an outing and lunch courtesy of the Empire Sports Club. Minister of Social Development, the Honorable Eric Evelyn, is the club's president. We know that it is something that you, the seniors, look forward to and enjoy doing as well. I am very proud to say that this is the 17th year, 17 years, since we are doing this outing. And every year it gets better and better. Um, I was happy today that we were able to do a tour at the farm at Cades Bay. And the, far, the, the seniors were delighted to get the tour. They were able to pick fruits, they were able to eat fruits, and they were all able to enjoy a nice, refreshing, healthy smoothie. And we are going to climax here at the lovely, picturesque Golden Rock Hotel once again for lunch. The annual event is held in partnership with the Department of Social Services Senior Citizens Division. Even before his onset to the work in government, he was doing this, and so I'm proud of that. So he's not just doing this in his capacity as the Minister of Social Development and Seniors, but he was doing this for years. I would like to say that the initiative is a very good one. They say a country that looks after its seniors is a country to be respected. An island, a country, any place that looks after its elderly is a country to be respected. 
an individual and organization that can take the time to plan and implement activities like this, not just once in a while, but every year should also be applauded. So I want you to thank um, the Handley's Road Sports Club. Sandra Maidan Morton is the director of the Department of Social Services, while Keith Glasgow is a permanent secretary in the Ministry of Social Development. The Honorable Minister is an extremely busy man. And when it comes to December, you know how December is. We have lots of activities in December. So, obviously, he has a lot of things to do, a lot of activities to attend throughout December. But he is ensuring one thing, that the seniors from Hanley's Road area are not forgotten. What you're getting for this Christmas season is a real treat. Glasgow also used the opportunity to commend the management and the staff of the Golden Rock Inn for facilitating the luncheon for the senior citizens. That's it for this edition of the Navy's Newscast. I'm Donis Wilkinson Keynes on behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information. Thank you for viewing.